In the early 1900s, commercial flying boats took off, but the cost wasn't cheap. Air travel was a luxury that was out of reach for the general public. But certainly from the 1930s with the Empire-class flying boats going around the British Empire, because most of the large cities were on the coast, you tended, people think it was all VIPs, but generally there were people who worked for the government, foreign office, and 50% of the cargo tended to be mail, because that was important to get fairly fast mail around the empire. Everything flew from here, so why bother with runways when you've got all this water in front? And if you were flying from here in, for example, 1938, if you could afford to, you were going to Australia, it could take you eight days, depending on the weather, but you stay every night at some nice hotel going through, and it would cost you one way, 165 pounds. You could buy the brand new Ford Anglia that came out in 1938 for 115 pounds. And the return journey ticket would more or less buy you a brand new three bedroom semi-detached house in Southampton. So in relative terms, the only thing that's gone up out of all proportion are house prices. Everything else has come down. Fast forward to the 1970s and the beachcomber was based in New Zealand. In 1974, it was sold to Captain Charles Blair, who set up on Teal Air boats, which operated out of Southampton. The plane is exciting, but even more exciting is the, is the seat in relation to the plane that I'm sitting in here. This particular seat um, was the seat that Hollywood actress Maureen O'Hara, who sadly passed away last year, age 95, her husband was uh, Brigadier General Charles Blair, a former Pan Am uh, pilot in the glamorous era from 1950 to 1969. He uh, flew around the world for Pan Am, but he always had a, a fascination and an interest in flying boats. And this uh, was installed so that uh, Maureen was able to join her husband to co-pilot, in, in loose terms co-pilot, but join him on a number of his, uh, of his flights. And they married in 1968 and uh, married for 10 years until tragically uh, Charles Blair was killed in 1978 in a, in a plane crash. But uh, she didn't just sit here looking beautiful and uh, pretty. She also was quite active on uh, any flights that she took part in. She would uh, take the tickets. She would often serve food. So she very much did participate, but it was where she wanted to be. So she could see her husband and in, in front of her, here we have the, the flight deck. Visitors to the Solent Sky Museum can sit in the seats of the flying boat cockpit as well as gain access to the passenger area and galley. The design of, of the passenger element of the aircraft, depending on what the airline wanted, some had a straight through decking on the flying boat conversions, some had, as this one, two storeys, some even had a cocktail bar, either at the back on the lower deck or on the upper deck. In the late 70s, the beachcomber made a few flights around the Solent, but at that time it was named Southern Cross and registered as VP LVE. In 1976, from uh, Bournemouth or Poole, uh, the, this particular um, beachcomber with General Blair, Charles Blair at the helm, piloting the, piloting the aircraft, with Maureen sitting in her chair, made a couple of uh, leisure flights around the Isle of Wight, just short hour, hour trips, and uh, she chose to dress in 1940s air, host, um, air hostess or stewardess outfit, um, simply because we can only speculate as to why she did that, but I, for her I would imagine it took her back to the sort of the glamour, the real sort of glamorous period of, of aviation, sort of post-war um, period, so I suppose that, that was what she, she enjoyed, enjoyed to wear, but it didn't, she was wearing the 1940s style in the 1970s, but uh, I think anybody would appreciate that wonderful sort of touch of nostalgia as you boarded the plane and had your ticket taken um, and clipped by uh, Hollywood actress Maureen O'Hara. I should think that was quite a, uh, an exciting experience. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.